please welcome Marcus Kuna and Chris O'Connor. So, good morning, everybody. Um, so, Audi loves advanced technology, not only in our cars, also at the point of sales. Um, as a premium brand, we are highly interested in a good relationship between the customer and the salesperson. And uh, finally, we want to achieve that our customers configure their car to dealership to guarantee the best guidance through the dealer, to, through the salesperson. Um, to support that, we developed a couple of digital sales tools during the last years. Um, the thing is, those sales tools are great. They help, but they have also some limitations. Showing a car also in 3D on a 2D screen is limited. And with that, it was a real gift for us that virtual reality came to the market and we really happy about the rise of virtual reality, which started with Oculus Kickstarter's campaign, also for us. So, um, finally we decided we don't wait, we go into this field, we develop a VR-driven sales application, and uh, there was many problems we had to solve in the beginning, in 2013. We start thinking about which engine should we use? We have so complex car models. And yeah, fortunately we came together with our friends from Zero Light with their optimized, or uh, let me say, uh, special Unity version. Um, and this was the first step why we're here on the stage today. And I guess Chris can tell a little bit more how they achieved that. Yeah, so within a virtual world, you need to believe what you are seeing. The quality must be unparalleled. This is especially true in a commercial context as customers are going to buy the product that they are seeing. That's why ev for, for Audi, every stitch and every detail is modeled. And rendering this amount of detail in real time is where the challenge starts. Our strategic partnership with Audi involves displaying the same asset across a number of different display devices. With our omnichannel platform, we process the car and get it ready for a range of real-time solutions. 4K point of sale system, as you see in the flagship stores, such as Audi City Paris, web configurators, mobile, and of course, immersive technologies such as VR and AR. Our process prepares every Audi and every possible configuration, real-time rendering, every single detail and every unique vehicle configuration. With the VR experience, this enables a customer to see any Audi virtually anywhere in the world. We don't cut any corners. We aim for and achieve the highest visuals and create an unbelievable experience for the Audi customer. The key starting points for commercial premium VR experience a high stable frame rate, low latency, and of course, stunning high fidelity graphics. As we all know, VR hardware technology moves fast and there's many challenges. Rendering the scene multiple times, high resolutions, hitting 90 FPS with less than 20 milliseconds of latency. To no surprise, the future that we are working on right now doesn't get any easier. There's the complexities of AR and all the difficulties of tracking objects in the real world. And there's a crazy number of pixels that are available on 4K HMDs. But we continue to push the boundaries. And our team at Zero Light are always developing new VR experience to make it, the sales process more and more immersive. This is Bambra, a new type of experience, the next level in real-time compositing, using volumetric VR video combined with real-time rendering to further immerse the user. And best of all, you can experience this at our booth today down in the expo hall. And now I'll hand back to Marcus. Thanks, Chris. 
So yeah, I only can repeat that. We have this demo there, which Zeolite did, what means we have a fully rendered uh, Audi R8 Spider in a volumetric video captured surrounding. That's amazing, you should try that afterwards. But I'm also here to share a little bit more of our experiences. So during the development, we figured out that it's great to show a car in a natural way. It helps customers, they're excited about the quality, but you don't touch them in the same way if, uh, as if you would allow them things which they couldn't have in reality. So we expand the functionalities of our sales experience during the last 12 months and integrated some great brand experiences as showing a pit, lay, a pit stop in Le Mans. You're really in the scene. Uh, we integrated an X-ray view to see hidden features of the car. And if you want, you can also see your car on the moon. It's up to you. So it has also an entertaining factor. It's helpful, it entertains, and our intention was if people have one of the first good VR experience in their life at the Audi dealership, they will remember. And they will connect it with the brand, which is good, of course. But also we want to help to bring this technology, this great technology, to reality. People get inspired. They leave the dealership, and that's our experience from the first five pilot dealerships in Germany, and they say, wow, I have to start thinking how I can use that at home in my, in my business, and so on. And that's a small part we could add to this via evolution. Um, finally, I want to say immersive technologies have an incredible potential. We have so many idea ideas what we can do outside and maybe also inside the car in the future. And I'm really looking forward to go to this journey with you guys. Thanks that we were here today, that we have this chance, this opportunity, and uh, yeah, a pleasant and inspiring vision summit to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please welcome the founder and CEO of Rewind, Saul Rogers. Good morning, everyone. Rewind is an award-winning global virtual and augmented pr production studio. We've been behind groundbreaking projects, such as the launch of Jaguar's first electric car exclusively in virtual reality, the Ghost in the Shell VR experience, which launched last month on three platforms concurrently, and was built in just seven weeks, and numerous Red Bull projects. Working with Red Bull has been fantastic because they're such an innovative brand. They've created one of my favorite sports, the Red Bull Air Race, which is the fastest motorsport on the planet. Let me show you what it's all about. Pretty extreme, right? These planes fly over 200 miles an hour, 50 foot off the ground, and pull up to 12 G. They gave me a ride a couple of years ago, and I tried my really, my, my really best, but I passed out at 7 G on camera. Not my finest moment. Because of the speed, the Air Race has some core challenges. First, it's complex. There's lots of rules and regulations, and quite frankly, none of us have flown a plane before. Second, safety is crucial. So they only ever allow one plane a sky in the sky at a time. And finally, it's really, really fast, meaning often the best place to watch is actually at home on live TV, where broadcasters use multiple cameras, VFX, to create the, the perfect viewing experience. My first thought when I saw a HoloLens was this is the answer. So we created Flight Deck, the world's first holographic live sport motor viewing companion. Now let me show you how this all works. Flight Deck is a multi-user experience. Everyone sees the same action from anywhere in the room. 
When we lay out the full course in front of you, it feels inclusive, social, as mini planes race through the chicanes, clip pylons, and illustrate the most exciting parts of the race. Now, what's better than a miniature plane in your living room? I think a full-size plane in your living room is far more exciting. <laughs> Well-scale tracking allows us to deliver an accurate model of the plane for you to explore. Some of us in England have smaller houses. It's much better in the US. <laughs> During televised races, though, this is where it gets really interesting. We give you full control of the broadcast, um, toggling through pilots and to catch up on replays any time you want. The minimap now lets you see exactly where all of the planes are on the course. And because it sits on the coffee table in your living room, your living room really comes to life. But this is where it gets really interesting for me. During live races, that same home viewing experience that runs on, will now run on location at events around the world and by tapping into the plane's live telemetry data, you can introduce a ghost plane of the real race leader live. Viewers wearing the HoloLens can, for the first time, look up into the sky and watch two planes battle it out for the world championship. I truly believe mixed reality is going to fundamentally change how we understand the world around us. Devices that can augment human intelligence in real time are here. Just consider the impact this is going to have on how we communicate how we learn, how we, and even how we live. The foundations for this exciting future is, going to be, is being laid out right now. When you take flexible tools like Unity, combined with rapid advancement in mixed reality hardware, and add innovative brands like Red Bull, all of the building blocks are really in place. At Rewind, we feel honored to be able to bring all of it together, to create truly delightful experiences for the audiences around the world. I'm excited to say that Flight Deck will be available on HoloLens Store very soon. And if any of you would like to join us, we're hiring. Thanks very much.